So the other thing I think I want to do is... If I put Troy as the kingpin, your rating losses after events are reduced by a third. Your rating gains after events are reduced by a third. As our ratings go up, we're going to lose more from losses. So I feel like doing that will kind of balance stuff out. And if we can keep Holly happy, we're getting 5.4% ratings at the end of every month. We're at 73.8 and we've got four months left, right? Where's the goals? So we should get to 90, right? We just need to not fuck up too bad. <laughs> All right, City Hero Part 3. Mr. President, the latest issue of Virtue Jack is waiting for you on your desk. It's time we catch this lunatic. He's an embarrassment to the Secret Service, to the government as a whole, and the two of us personally. Virtue Jack number 14. The sun streaked red stripes of remorse across the water and slipped cowardly over the horizon. I, Virtue Jack, the apex of justice, the hand of retribution, the boomerang of truth. The boomerang of truth? So like he sends the truth out and it comes back to him? The bat of fate I take to the streets. My target is the court jester, a disgrace to the walls of the whitewashed castle. Today, Virtue Jack is coming for you, infernal succubus dressed in white. Tremble, puppeteer, in the high tower. Retribution is near, and your army grows ever smaller. Soon, I will be knocking at your door. Okay, is this us? I've got a funny feeling that this might be our last best chance to capture this freak, who is making the whole country scared of supporting you. If it's not about me, I'm not concerned. Let the people have their fun. That's my science advisor, Wolfgang Stoffel. is a very suspicious individual in a white coat. This time, it's definitely about Tony. I want his security detail doubled immediately. I, I can't... I don't know, man. Does Tony wear white? Puppeteer in the high tower. The court jester. I gotta, like, really think about this. I don't think it's Tony. He's not dressed in white. I guess we'll go with the coat. Fuck, I might have to restart again. Mr. President, I always ask myself what that guy is up to every time I see him. But we were wrong. This time, Virtue was aiming his crowning blow at the Vice President. I suspect Mr. Estaba is feeling a little like the court jester. But you were right. Virtue Jack came for our Vice President. Wait, what? But I was wrong. Uh, we were fully armed, but now it seems like they could have handled everything without us. Mr. Estaba himself seemed to sense which way the wind was blowing and was ready at the critical moment. When Jack jumped down on him from the awning of the school where the vice president was giving a speech, I thought we were looking at another battered and humiliated victim. He could take care of himself. He was a FBI guy, right? But Mr. Estaba never hesitated for a second. He snatched Jack's foot right out of the air and slammed the bastard to the ground with all his might. I thought it might be Tony. But you won't believe this part. The elusive vigilante was none other than Warren Monger's son, Dean May. So Mr. President, would you like to talk to him? Sure, this guy intrigues me. Maybe this is part of his plan. Mr. President! Come over here and fight me like a man. Calm down, kid. What the hell has got into you? Look around. It's the end of an era of humanity. The complete moral degradation of government. The government is full of villains. Upper class villains. Long past the end of their wicked road. Drenched in the blood and tears of countless random victims. Well, my victims aren't really random, okay? Let me tell you all about them. It's this uh, mainly based around this play, you see? What about your father? He's the worst of them all. If Jesus hadn't said to honor your father, then Virtue Jack's first blow would have hit him right in the face. Ever since I was a child, I was raised to be a machine. Espionage, murder, and cruelty. 
I was forced to do things that make you want to drown yourself. I've seen things that make me want to tear my eyes out. But I still have pride in my heart. I still have honor. And the only thing I could do to atone for all my countless sins is to cleanse this rotten city of scavengers like you. Who wrote the comic books? Hi, you've been running circles around the FBI for months. I suggest you come work for me. I'd rather hang myself from my cummerbund than hang with the goddamn establishment. You remind me of a friend of mine. We could work together. I do need another employee. That'd be kind of cool if we could just send them after people. <laughs> Dean, I'm one of the good guys. I'll come for you. Jack's word is stronger than steel, and his heart is colder than ice. Watch your back, you damn puppet master. Yeah, he's a strange kid, Bonger. Let's put him in the nut house so we won't have to do a trial. Although, I must say, they gave him some phenomenal training. I guess I picked the wrong thing. All right, we went up. Um, Virtue Jack struck again. This time, the victim was the vice president. His regular detail was reinforced by an FBI squad under orders of the president himself. Did I pick the wrong thing? I'm so confused. Finally, the commander in chief uh, has shown the world that he will not stand by as his supporters are beaten. But this new development only raises new questions. Why is Virtue Jack's identity now become a state secret? Oh no, we lost point eight. Sir, I heard the first arrow boards have already hit the DC streets. Hope no one has been run over here yet, because there sure has been a good few uh, cases in Oakland. I heard a lawsuit is being prepared against us for failing to control the spread of arrow boards and their use. Should have beaten them to a punch and taken taken uh, take to court before they did. Oh man. Okay. Well, we just lost all the gains that we got. Thanks for telling the Secret Service uh, to keep an eye on me, Mr. President. They haven't found anything or anyone suspicious yet, but I'm feeling much safer already. Oh, of course the media just couldn't let this fly. They're cooking up all kinds of nasty theories like do you having actually bolted abroad to have some more fun while his wife is being escorted around on taxpayers money. And even fell for it for a moment. They've made my life hell. Oh my god, but that worked. <laughs> Mr. President, Volkov's hypnosis sessions are so popular that we've put him on primetime TV. He also created a Shik Shock channel for them and bought advertising. It already has several hundred thousand subscribers, and this is just the start. I'm not sure what the secret of his success is. It could be his thick Russian accent, or that people just really want to believe in miracles. Or perhaps Volkov really is an awesome hypnotist. But everyone is paying attention to his instructions to love and obediently repeating Mr. President is my personal president. It's music to my ears. Space hamster? Now we're talking. Phil Birkin, Mr. President, the space agency is letting us down again. This time, a female hamster, number 524534 uh, is missing. Or rather, this number is hard to read. That was her name before all experiments with animals in space were banned. After the amnesty, the hamster was named Baby Lee and had a page on social networks. There, she became popular and even attracted the interest of new subscribers to science. Except that once the hammer was given a walk and she climbed into the capsule with the cereals, which is about to go into orbit. Why did they do... <laughs> what? Okay. The news was leaked to the media and now people are demanding that capsule with baby Lee be returned to Earth. Fulfilling these demands is unthinkable. A tremendous amount of work has been done, costing the budget millions of dollars. Baby Lee is trained to live in space. Plus, she should have enough food to last until her return. But somehow people still accuse us of animal cruelty. What should we do, Mr. President? Okay, well, I can't afford that. People are demanding it, so let's find the money in the budget to return to Oh, but hold on. Is that gonna is that gonna make us increase taxes? We'll find out. Find the money in the budget to return the capsule. Mr. President, we got the hamster back, but we had to cut a couple of weighty uh, space programs to cover the costs. 
All the fired scientists got together and drafted a powerful appeal to the public, where they detailed how one stupid hamster and your unconcerned attempts to please the public had set our space industry back decades. The remaining employees went on strike, and journalists forgot all about the fate of Baby Lee. Fuck! We're still at 70.7! .7. What is the president hiding from the American people? Will he stop at nothing to score political points and be willing to destroy the space industry? Uh, yes. Yes, I will stop at nothing. Okay. Infiltrate the prison. Darling, if you want to close private prisons, pull the plug on Weister and become the most popular president in America. You need to know what goes on in these prisons. You've been away for the past five years and lots could have changed. You can't get the information officially. An inspection would have to be announced and by the time anyone got there, everything would be inspected already. Hold on. And by the time anyone got there, everything would be inspection. Oh, inspection ready. Uh, we need to send someone undercover. Quinton Bounty Men's Prison in California is one of the most problematic, so we should start there. It's definitely not a nice place. Plenty of inmates went in before getting a life sentence for murder. It's a really bleak place, so you're going to need someone tough and experienced. Do you have anyone in mind? Troy! I don't think that's the right choice, darling. You need someone fiercer to work as a warden. Let's not risk someone's life for nothing, huh? Uh... Holly? Hold on, let's see what the other one is. Oh, I, I can't, I can't actually do this. I'm not, I'm, I don't have anyone that can go international. It'd be June. Investigate what's really behind the government AI program. So we're gonna need someone to do that. Mr. President, thank you for your help. It seems the employees involved in the June AI experiment believe that the program has developed self-awareness. We may only have one chance to save this multi-billion dollar project and establish if this really has happened. As you can imagine, it is a most delicate situation. So once again, I turn to you. This case requires the savvy of a technician and someone who knows how to get clear answers. So Andres and Troy would probably be good. I have no, I don't have the money for this. Why do I still have bonuses on here? Why are they getting bonuses? This is just like, so we're so on the edge. Let's try sending Holly. Nope. I guess I can't send anyone. Judgment day. The people gathered inside the White House seem to believe that judgment day is approaching. I don't remember anything like that, my friend. But then, I never read books to the end. But the people outside are sure we have everything planned out. They say that uh, that's why we built a network of bunkers under the White House. To restore the human race after the end of the world. I was beginning to wonder if Old Face was planning something like that. The story is gaining steam, and now it's not just the righteous followers of Estaba who want access to the secret bunker. Now there's thousands of kooks from all over the country, lining up for the end of the world. People are coming in from all over to join the community, and the cultists are holding initiation rites literally right on your lawn. It looks like there's going to be a music festival. Everyone is definitely dressed for it. How are we going to break up this crowd? I don't see any of these people doing that. Find incriminating evidence. Help an old friend blackmail another old friend. Oh, Samantha, okay. Mr. President, if we watch, if we watch to nail, if we want to nail Javier Tabaka for corruption, we're going to have to find a few skeletons in his closet. Tabaka lives in a sprawling Gothic mansion in the suburbs. From the look of the place, you'd think he keeps slave girls chained up in the basement, drinks blood out of skulls, and sleeps in a coffin. The mansion hasn't been renovated in decades, so breaking in it into it ought to be a cakewalk. But the thing is, Javier de Baca is a dark horse. 
Uh, he plays it close to the chest, and he almost always finds a way to pull the rug out from under his rival's feet. For that reason, Mr. President, I get the feeling there's more interesting stuff on Debaka's computer than in his house. It's your call, Mr. President. Should we break the doors down or try to get our hands on the congressman's digital secrets? I can uh, send Andre a shot. The only thing is, am I going to be out of cash? Because I only get 1,450 back, or 1, uh, 450,000 back. We also get 190,000. So I only, I, I can't spend the 2,900. I can't, I can't do anything. Ah, oh, this sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad to be in this position. I can't do anything. Well, I mean, if he's going to get stressed out, I might as well. Maybe Holly could do it, though. I don't stress Andrea out. But, I mean, it's hinting. Fuck it. That might get me something I can sell. Help the museum get rid of a forgery. Catch a congressman taking a bribe to help an old acquaintance. Mr. President, do you think we can finally get Tabaka on, on a hook? So he can't wriggle away? Right now, he his fellow lawmakers back in Florida are debating a popular project to modernize Miami public transit. The taxi cabs are getting it. The public block is in favor. Nothing surprising. Both are split down the middle, so now everybody is scrambling for the undecideds. Javier is an influential man in his home state. He'll be bandying that influence about, and he's expecting to be well compensated for the pleasure. So he won't suspect anything when someone starts offering him money. You know how to negotiate with politicians. This doesn't have to, anything to do with me, of course. But we'll make sure my friends at the FBI are watching every move. Mr. President, is there anyone you can think of who might be able to approach Tabaka for a special favor? Try these two. Mr. President, the respected congressman is a petty and vindictive asshole. He has little interest in anything beyond the success of his Samner Health Medical Equipment Company, and I suspect the bloody orgies he hosts in the basement of his mansion. I should warn you, it won't be easy to make Tabaka happy. Corruption is so rampant now that people like Javier have become spoiled. The only way you'll grab his interest is an exclusive or truly astonishing offer. Remember, Dabaka is a slick and experienced bribe taker. Don't go at him head on. If he suspects it's a trap, he'll bolt right down, uh, right back down his hole. And don't forget that he's running a presidential campaign right now, so he could use all the PR he can get. Have you decided what to offer Dabaka in exchange for his influence in the Miami vote? Steal from Dabaka evidence of his bribery. Toss an envelope full of cash into Tabaka's briefcase. Offer to feature Tabaka in a flattering article. I like this. Mister, nobody gives bribes in envelopes these days, but this envelope was so blatantly bursting with cash, it must have caught the FBI's attention. They liked the note we included about medical needs. I planted it so Tabaka wouldn't notice a thing. Imagine the look on the guy's face when the FBI pulled that very nice envelope out of his briefcase. I guess his voters will have the same sort of look when they see their congressman caught red-handed. Nice! Mr. President, that was brilliant. You really are a genius. The people hate Tabaka. The rest of Congress are scared shitless, and you're the hero of a new chapter in the fight against corruption. I wouldn't recommend you stop there. Tabaka is in trouble, and I thank you for that, but he'll wriggle his way out soon enough. What do you propose? I prepared this bill for my own use, but I think it will do you more good now. And give me some leverage in the future. Hey, very nice. I advise you to sign it sometime within the next three months, so long as the Congress is intimidated. They'll be afraid to vote against you. Nobody wants to call attention to themselves 
You can take advantage of this. Yes! If you don't have enough money, take a part-time job like the next guy. The goddamn corporations are trying to make us believe that everything in life can be bought. Believe me, sleeping on mountains of gold is less comfortable than you'd think. I'm barely making ends meet. I advise, uh, I advise all crooks to flee the country. Hugs to all. <laughs> My favorite part of the game by far. Hire a normal person to write your posts. It's dangerous to even fart these days if you haven't bribed someone beforehand. Where'd you get all your dough, Mr. So-called president? I'm broke, man. I got a thousand bucks. Maybe I can make some cash through some events or something. Woo! The final year of the president's first term doesn't promise to go so easily for corrupt government officials. The White House has already shown that it will deal uh, decisively with anyone who betrays their public oaths. Sir, I know it sounds crazy, but Troy doesn't follow even basic hygiene. Guys, come on, man! Can I get another partner next time? Oh, heir apparent to the British throne, Prince Robert. Sir, my mother always appreciated good pedigree, both in people and dogs. However, those whippets she's keeping at her palace are akin to Wardour Street English. A future king can't uh, use these to make a point. I need a unique breed that would be associated with me. I've recently caught wind of someone in America having several rare golden hound bitches. What do you say to a collaboration proposal? We could mix them with English Greyhounds and register a new breed exclusively for the royalty and presidents. The pups would be worth millions in a few years. Shall I call the International Canine Federation? Yes, I need money. I don't even gonna read this. I can't do this. No. <laughs> okay, so we got a bill. What are we, so we're at 72.9. Four point three. I'm just like wondering if I could get to like ninety, then we could do that oil thing. I'll I'll wait on this. I'll wait on this. Okay. No. I'm gonna lose that so much. Darling, you had a unique opportunity to get rid of private prisons and score some political points, and you just let it pass you by. That's okay. That's not good. The Al Guan, CEO at WMH. Mr. President, I know you only have a year left in office, but to disregard your reputation in that way. This is America, a channel owned by Archie Weiser broadcasts a scandalous investigation claiming the vote counting software that made you president was defective. Perhaps my voting machines did get it wrong and somebody else should be president right now. Okay, that's fine. We didn't lose anything. I don't know if I can make payroll. I need something. Not breaking into Tabaka's mansion was a good call, Mr. President. When your hacker hacked into his network, we found out that Tabaka's old gothic ruin is actually equipped with a hyper-modern, fully automated security system. The surprises didn't end there, however. We found some fascinating files on his computer. Dr. Tabaka doesn't just sell expensive medical equipment, he also sells blood. Yeah, you heard right. People with deep pockets have been paying Tabaka to hook them up with suitable donors. Some of them want the blood of virgins, others want the blood of Mormons, and a few are only willing to accept blood from people with a specific pedigree. Given his hobby, Javier must have a dark sense of humor 
to be living in a vampire mansion. The Baka's clients are very famous people, so this information could be quite valuable in the black market. It's just too bad it wasn't quite what we were looking for, but you'll come up with something, right? Uh, can I record your sayings in my cartoon pony notebook? Sure. Ah! Sir, the new dog our little breeding experiment yielded definitely turned out exclusive. I mean, it looks like a hot dog with laughably long legs and a hairless tail, which all but excludes any potential public interest in acquiring one. The paper said we reinvented the mongrel, to which the veterinarian society added that while mixed breeds are usually hardy, our royal abomination appears prone to weight gain, arthritis, and heart conditions. But what do you know, maybe I was aiming precisely for that. Needs a break. Break. Okay, I need to use uh, I need to use my stuff. The first joint EU and US military forces arrived in Brezik. Will it uh, come to open clashes or the sides or are the sides just posturing so far? British Queen Anne IV is in the host in the hospital. Buckingham Palace reports that it is only an indisposition. Quite natural given Her Majesty's advanced age. Archie Weiser says the president thinks he can get away with his amendment, but I didn't start my campaign for nothing. One of the points of my platform is to prevent this amendment from being passed. Buddy, I was having a talk with Peaches about the amendment and it got me thinking. Don't get me wrong, we both fully support you, but here's what I realize. After this amendment is put in place, any president can do whatever he wants and get away with it, right? Including crimes? Come on, buddy, I know you. You wouldn't hurt a fly. But you're not going to be president forever. Can you imagine that someday Samantha Dickinson becomes president? Does all sorts of bad things and then lives out her remaining days happily in retirement? It doesn't seem fair, but I explained to my peach that we just don't fully understand all the legalities. The system of checks and balances wouldn't allow the president to get away with crimes, right? Uh, of course not. Mr. President, I was thinking how to promote our magnificent band and your fantastic amendment over margaritas. One cocktail, then another, and another. The next morning, I couldn't remember anything. And then I had an epiphany. We need something that's so awesome that even 10 margaritas won't let you forget it. We'll organize an open-air music festival and call it Wind of Change. An informal event for everyone who appreciates freedom of expression, self-actualization, and free beer. Bill Dock and Stan Mike Michelson will play the best hits by our freshmen. Vote or you'll lose it, and consequences be damned. Music will open the hearts of people who won't listen to words. I have already received First Lady's approval and signed up your fan club as volunteers. How big an investment are you prepared to make? I don't have any money. Mr. President, that's something at least. No, I gave you nothing. Let's get down to business <laughs> with a commander in chief like this. We are doomed to succeed. I'm off to commission the posters. The largest open air music festival of the decade, Wind of Change, has been announced by its organizer, Jenny Usmani. According to her, it will be the grooviest event of the century after the latest presidential election. The cost of the admission, drinks and burgers will be covered by Portly Joe, the nation's premier fast food franchise. Protect the host, create an online platform. Protect the elections, increase the birth rate, revitalize the nation, cultivate patriotism. Ah, I don't have any people. Okay, how much is this worth? Three mil, okay, let's sell that. All the people whose names are on these documents have had to pay dearly for their stupid prejudices. Much needed. Okay, we need, um... These two need to rest. Judgment Day. Protect your bunker from sectarian encroachment. Protect the host. Help the pro-establishment festival event planner keep the host safe. Create an online platform. Help guests attend the pro-establishment festival, even the ones who couldn't make it to the venue. Okay, uh... I'm just like barely... Look, I'm not gonna be able to do like any of these things. Uh... 
I could. I think I should probably keep the cash, though. I was going to say I could, like, lobby for one of these. Like, I could lobby for this one, but I think it makes more sense. I don't know. Does it matter, though? Does it matter if I have money if... Does it matter if I have money if I don't hit that goal? That's all that we care about is that goal right now. Seems like a good investment. Okay. Which one of these can I do? Uh, the people gathered outside the White House seem to believe that Judgment Day is approaching. I don't remember anything like that, my friend. Okay, we already read this, right? I'm not going to be able to keep them out. Jenny Usmani. Well, hello, Mr. President. Something just came up concerning our Wind of Change Festival. It might grow into a problem and spoil the show for our guests. It's one of our guest stars, Stan Michelson, the host. Oh, I remember that guy from the uh, retirement party. There might be trouble. I brought my A-game to raise hype around him. Now his suave, smoky voice is enough to make my uh, make every American woman's heart skip a beat, while their men struggle with jealousy. Got to the point where desperate housewives leave their families to follow him around the country. There's a web community of cheated husbands and other haters called DDS, Drop Dead Stand, where they bitch and rant about him. Our festival is often brought up and such topics as beating the crap out of him and making him pay for seducing women with singing are trending. I'm sure it's nothing but loser talk. Still, it won't hurt to get a tough guy. No, I don't have a tough guy. Online platform. I think I think we just go. I think we just go. But I'm not going to be able to do those either. We're going. It's fine. 